Hello my soccer universe, I couldn't do the video yesterday for personal reasons, so yeah, with a day delay we will talk about Napoli have secured the championship finally with a 1-1 draw in Udine and while maybe the last month or so has been a little bit of a stumble which also resulted in a potentially uh, disappointing Champions League exit to my beloved Milan, it is a very well deserved, fully deserved championship for Napoli. They have been the best team in Italy by a mile. Absolutely. They won in uh, for, uh, before the World Cup. They won uh, 17 uh, uh, games, lost them to Inter, continued on, on a big run, separated themselves from the league where all the others had always some internal struggles and they fully deserve winning this championship. And I also have to say, and we will not talk about all the other results. I don't even want to talk much of the game because, you know, it was a 1-1. It was typically for Napoli in the last few months. There was a little bit of a stumble. And yes, there was maybe the debilitating losses to Milan in the Champions League, which put a, maybe a little bit of damper uh, to, to the season. But in the end, this was always about the championship. I think for the people of Naples, winning this Scudetto means a whole lot. I thought that the celebrations of Milan's championship last uh, year were already crazy with the um, parade uh, going through the city of Milan and everything is stuffed. Uh, it's nothing against Napoli. Um, those people are hungry. They are absolutely mad. I kind of tongue-in-cheek call Napoli or the city of Naples uh, the craziest city in Europe when it comes to, especially to soccer. Superstitious. Uh, passionate and all for the team and the when you saw just a little bit of set of, of, of the celebration it was just going wild fortunately no one said of Mount Vesuvius which probably would have added to it I also thought when you saw all the fibers going off um, well if you've been living under a rock in Naples um, and you might have wondered is the apocalypse upon us or what's happening right there um, and given that it's happened 23 years, uh, 23, no, 33 years after the last title, I think added this element because most of the fans that are now uh, reliving it, uh, for them, this is the, really the first time. And the first time is always this uh, special thing. If this would have happened, let's say, in 2003, yes, it would still have been a big celebration. But it would have had the same because you were just um, like 10, a little bit more than 10 years removed from Diego Armando Maradona era. And Diego still looms large in this city everywhere. They won the first two with Diego. They had not won a championship before that at all. There was only one southern Italian team. And this is another um, thing that has to be uh man man that's southern italy if you like say everything south south it was only Cagliari in 1970 that won a championship but otherwise no southern team has won a championship and it's always the mezzo giorno the poor mezzo giorno that's kind of frowned upon by the northerners the rich northerners so um this dynamic also plays and that's why this title is so important and i while probably the, the uh, celebrations were wildest in Naples, I've seen pictures of Napoli fans celebrating in Milan. I've seen pictures of Napoli fans celebrating uh, in London. I have seen pictures of Napoli fans celebrating all the way in the States. Everywhere where there is, a, and now I'm saying it's a little bit uh, exaggerated, everywhere there is a pizzeria, there were Napoli celebrations. It's not the case, but you know, pizza comes from Naples. It was invented there. It's uh, the, the ultimate uh, Neapolitan dish for me. So there you go. Now, while we always say that uh, the city is crazy, the one thing it has to be real is that this is a team that has had a somewhat contentious but over really good leadership for that club. Ever since Aurelio De Laurentiis took over, and ever since they made it back to Serie A, I think in 2007, there has been a steady build. And yes, they have been knocking. I think they were uh, four times finishing second behind Juventus in their head. Hey, hey, they were, there were the Cavaliers, there were the Iguains. There were, for, were, of course, the magical Smurfs around Insigne and Mertens uh, that always played great. But it was not... Uh, 
it just wasn't meant to be. There were some Coppa Italia triumphs, and of course they were duly celebrated, but nothing beats a nice championship. That one's for sure. But um, I wanna, you have to be lauded. This is a, a filmmaker who just took over the club. Very well run, very hard in letting players go, and if you have to pay basically a ransom uh, to get a player from Napoli. And he brought them in very stable waters, which for Napoli was not really a well-known thing. They were in the mid-2000s in the third league because they completely went bankrupt. So that is another really good story behind that. Yes, Aurelio De Laurentiis is not a super-liked man for uh, his, uh, you know, hard-nosed ways. And the way he runs the club that he, you know, he is selling, uh, he is charging for tickets. Um, maybe too much uh, for the fans. But without him, this would not exist. This is also his life's work. And he also, uh, the way he um, appointed managers, there was also always a kind of a steady build in there. Always be with an idea to hit the next level. No, he brought in a Rafa Benitez to uh, get like an Igo Ain and a Callejon in, in there. He tried to get with, uh, you know, he brought in Sarri because uh, he liked the way they, they were playing. He brought in then Angelotti to kind of refine the whole thing and maybe hit the next level. Did not necessarily happen, although I think they were relatively close. Then, um, you know, everything kind of blew up in a bit. Uh, but in the end, he brought in uh, Spalletti. And what also has to be said that this was not the season that was meant to be Napoli's season. They lost three pillars of their team over the summer. Insigne went to Toronto, we had Therese Mertens going away, I think to Turkey, and with Koulibaly joining Chelsea. And everyone thought this will be a rebuilding season. We will see there has to be a new Napoli coming. And they keep Ozyman, they bring in Quaratskelia, they bring in Kim among some other uh, other great players. There is Spalletti getting the best out of players that have, again, largely failed on their, um, in the, for, for instance, in the Premier League, like Anguissa. Nobody was a pit part player and he formed a team. He got the best out of them. Huge credit to Spalletti, who finally wins a major trophy. Yes, a Russian championship is something, but if your team is Zenit St. Petersburg, uh, bankrolled by Gazprom, it's also a little bit of a foregone conclusion. And I think this manager who did so great with Roma almost had, uh, you know, made the revolution with the Falls 9. I think he also oversaw, unfortunately, Totti's departure. But Spalletti probably would have deserved earlier already a title. Finally, he has it. So uh, I find this rather, rather amazing. Now, it also means that we had in the past four years four different champions in Italy. That is remarkable. This means that this league is now the uh, Juventus. I, I have to say, Juventus self-destructed. Once they got Ronaldo, they became uh, impatient. They got rid of Allegri. It was not working. Bringing in Ronaldo was probably the worst thing that Juve could have ever done. Although at the time it seemed like a great uh, transfer. But from that moment on, Juve won two more championships. Yes, but they also imploded right there. The last one was under Sarri another uh, manager that would have deserved the champ championship. Um, in came Inter, who spent millions to get a squad that they could not afford. They draw it up down. Afterwards came Milan, who were a good story in themselves because uh, they were also not meant to become champions last year. Surely not. However, they got on, on a roll. And the one thing that was for Milan is that this is a well-run club that doesn't make debts. And they got on the, on the roll and on their day, as the 4-0 win in Naples shows, they can still be the second best team in Italy. They just have uh, flaws in the squad building. And so it was now Napoli's time. But again, it was not, not meant to be Napoli's season. However, it was great recruiting and Spalletti got the best out of their team. And it also shows that Serie A is wide open because... Yes, Napoli was now the big sensation. I'm not sure if Napoli will continue to be that dominant uh, the upcoming season. I'm not worried about them losing players because we've seen in the recruitment they actually quite well. But I'm surely I'm sure that uh, all the other big clubs will now 
really get into it. And, you know, we have uh, quite some parity as the top four struggle shows. The league is rather open overall. Um, and yes, this year it was a great season by one team. There is no doubt, doubt about it. I also think that Napoli's dominance allowed the Italian teams to be so do so dominant in Europe. I'm still not an all sure if an Italian team will win a European trophy, although I think I do like Fiorentina's chances in the Conference League, and I don't know if Roma or Juve can do something in the Europa League. I don't trust the Milan clubs to get past Manchester City, but you know. So uh, it's all, we have all seen it. We have all to see it, but... Um, we have five Italian teams in Europe. This has not, uh, still in Europe, in the semifinals. This has not happened for a long time, and part of that is due to Napoli. Because the league was so out of sight, the teams actually could focus on Europe, even to their own detriment in the league. And I want to point out, especially for Milan, who have been rotating the squad left and right and dropping points against uh, un unnecessary points, and it's not, as, not any way. Um, certain if they will finish top four, although I would say they are easily among the three best teams in Italy. However, their focus is on the Champions League, as to a degree was also Inter's focus. Roma and Juve, Juve know that even if they get a points penalty, they need to focus also on Europe and they will not go into top four and they will not win the championship. You just have to show, show up for, for, for the important games. And I think that's also credit to Napoli. And it's also very uh, telling that the two best teams in the standings currently, which are Napoli and Lazio, are the two teams that have been eliminated from Europe. Think about that. So yeah, I want to finish this video for, with congratulating Napoli to a wonderful season. This is a team that almost all of Europe, and I want to say Europe outside of Italy, fell in love with. Their displays in the Champions League have been a dream. I have been uh, drooling over this team. The only thing I, I regret is that their jerseys are so darn expensive. Because otherwise I would have gotten at least a home jer uh, jer jersey, which I think is a, um, very much a beauty. But you know, uh, if you buy an Armani jersey, you probably pay a premium price. And this is also down to De Laurentiis. And you know, those will be selling like crazy. They are selling like crazy. They're producing them like crazy, so I actually hope they will come eventually down again. But yes, um, it's a team that everyone loves. I think everyone, and again, outside of Italy, everyone loves the story behind it. Everyone loves the mystique that has been built around Mar Mar Maradona and now seeing Napoli. I mean, when Napoli won the last championship, I was not so aware of it because this was just at the time that I got into soccer it was the 1990 world cup so i did not really feel this uh emotions all that that much i learned rather quickly but i didn't really see that now i have seen it and i know everything if you want to know why maradona is still saying watch the maradona documentary on amazon i think it tells everything right there but also focus on this team and I cannot wait for the title celebrations. This will be emotional and I like that. I really, really liked it. So congratulations, Napoli. Fully deserved championship. Um, unfortunately, you ran into Milan in the Champions League. I think this was a team that could have won the Champions League and maybe this is the one teeny tiny regret. But I want to end it highlight. Congratulations, best team in Italy, most entertaining team in Europe this season. And I'll leave it at that. Let me know your thoughts on Napoli in the comments below and I will talk to you soon with more Serie A and we'll talk about all the games. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!